We play a little game of if you only knew. Okay. What's the biggest risk you ever took? Biggest risk I ever took? Oh my goodness. Um, probably just, hmm. What first comes to mind is deciding to have my son completely naturally. What do you mean natural? Um, doing the entire natural route, like no, no drugs, in the tub. Um, it, was a, it was a risk, I suppose. What, you didn't take the shot? No, no. What? I didn't. Why? I wanted to do it naturally. I wanted to feel that. I, I felt, I don't know. Felt I felt energized pain. to do that. I was very yeah. motivated at the time. Your husband helped? Oh, gosh, yes, <laughs> and so did Jesus. <laughs> Jesus is always around. I tell you, and always helping. Did you have a childhood celebrity crush? Oh, gosh, yes. Y'all, Sam Elliott? Oh, I don't, with that voice. <laughs> oh, man. Nerdiest fan encounter? Nerdiest? Hmm. Or strangest or hmm. crazy? Hmm. I don't have any strange no. encounters. No, I, nothing I would call strange. Maybe just asking people asking for selfies in the bathroom. Yeah. I guess that's strange. Most challenging Star Trek scene to shoot. Oh, most challenging Star. Well, I would I would reveal the end of the season, of season two, if I um, if I said oh, that. No, we can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it comes up the the most challenging one I've done. Last great book you read. Oh, last great book I read. Oh, that's a good question. Well, I'm kind of cheating. Angela Angela Davis's bi uh, autobiography um, is pretty is pretty incredible. I'm almost done. A great actress. Yeah. Something you change about the world. You could wave a wand. Are you serious? I would give everyone faith and empathy. What keeps your faith going when you see all the weird things around you? That's a that's a good question. That amazes me. But I don't have that, and mm -hmm. I, I know it's a leap of faith. True, and it is a leap. And what I've learned is that it's a leap you have to take every day, right? And especially in the, in this position that I'm in right now, with this platform, a part of this franchise, I I I believe in in Christ and and in what Christ really represents, <laughs> not what he's been dumbed down to represent or what he's been perverted to represent. And so digging into that, it's like having to return to that and having to daily jump. Your husband agree? Mm-hmm. Uh, something you can't live without. My husband. Oh. And my son. Someone from history you'd like to portray on the big screen. Um... Uh, who's, oh goodness, Flojo. Flojo uh, Flo would be amazing. Um, yeah. Best piece of advice you ever got? Oh my. Um, well, what's coming to mind is uh, my mentor from college told me uh, I wanted to change my name. And he said, uh, no, don't do that. Um, you've got a Q in your name. And he said, few people have a Q in their name. And it's very indicative of your, you know, your uniqueness in general. So keep What's it. the worst piece of advice you ever got? Oh. Change the name. <laughs> right. Change the name. All right. You're stranded on a desert island. What three things do you bring with you? Um, I'm going to say um, Vaseline. Can I bring food? Yeah. Okay. Uh, food. Canned food. Uh, Vaseline. Vaseline. I know that sounds weird, right? But yeah. you can use Vaseline for a lot of things, right? I think you can use it for a lot of things. Like or maybe, what? or maybe I should say, like, because you could like put it on your body. You could, if if you need, because like your skin's gonna be ripped apart from all the elements, and so, and then I feel like you could also use it to cook with, maybe. Yeah, I guess you're right. Um, and then you said a third thing. I, I, um. The, the uh, book, um, yeah. First thing you do when you get out of bed? First thing I do when I get out of bed is probably go to my son. <laughs> What's the favorite thing about being a mother? <sighs> Falling in love every day. Good. If you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Pasta. <laughs> Some place you're dying to visit. Africa. Yeah. I gotta get there. 
If you had one day to spend a million dollars or you lost it, what would you buy? Oh my goodness, I would buy, so I would, I would buy like, um, like a school or like a shelter or, or you know what, I would buy like an apartment complex, which they're not going for a million, but no, okay. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I would get an apartment complex and then Indeed. I would like, um, I would give all the rooms out. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.